how to actually audit a Facebook ad account when it comes down to a new client, a new partner, something like that. You wanna audit your ad account, here's what to do. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio. Today I have an exciting new video for you guys. We're actually gonna kind of dive deep through like my ad account audit process. Um, this might not be too applicable for brand owners, but at least people who work with a lot of ad accounts, maybe taking on new clients or things like that. Or you're just a client that our partner that is skeptical about working with us and you kind of want to know what we do when we go through our ad account strategy session that I offer you guys and get to apply for one of those. All you have to be doing is making at least $50,000 a month in revenue. Click link below to, you know, have Nick run for your, run your Facebook ads and uh, we'll hop on a strategy call to where uh, we'll go through your ad account and kind of go through these specific key features. If you're wondering why, wondering why I'm credible to be teaching these types of things, I've been over $50 million in online revenue with Facebook ads, I've taken multiple brands from six to seven figures a month, and also multiple brands from five figures a month to six figures a month. So happy to share these secrets with you guys completely for free. If you're interested in how you can work with me, I have two links below have Nick mentor you or have Nick run your ads. And that's how we can basically work together. So before we get started, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's dive into the video. So I audit a lot of ad accounts. Um, I'll probably do like one a week, which I mean, it's almost like 52 a year, something like that. And there's a couple things that I like to look at when I audit an ad account. And I know some people are like, well, you know, you go in there and you look for like CPCs and CTR percentages and things like that it's it's really not the case okay most of our ad account audits because we have we use the same ad account structure for literally every single ad account so for me to go in and be like hey well if you just tweak this cbo campaign things like that like that's never ever existent it's more of just okay hey you're not following this strategy we recommend deploying this for these specific reasons that's just copy and paste every single time okay but that's what usually it starts off with is okay let's just take a quick look at the overview of the account okay hey you know 90 percent of the time they're running multiple campaigns. They're competing against each other. Very unorganized. So, hey, first step of action is just condensed down to a single CBO or one CBO per country or one CBO per business objective, depending on how the account is set up. Okay. Then the second stage is, okay, are they deploying tracking, like attribution, like triple well, high rows, things like that? If not, okay, that's the second thing. All right. And like those two slides are like on 90% of my ad account audits. Okay. Now the third stage, this is where it actually gets a little bit more tactical. Okay. Here's where I'm basically going in and I'm selecting that maximum time range in the ad account. And I'm sorting all the campaigns by spin. So I can see that at the, the campaign with the most spin all the way down to the least spin. And I'm really just spending my time in those first three to five campaigns. Okay. Um, I'm selecting those three to five. And then I'm, I'm just gonna select them using the little tool, boom, boom, boom. Then I'm gonna click on the ads tab. And that's gonna show me all of the ads by spin in those three to five campaigns. And my goal here is to figure out the top three to five, three to 10 ads in the ad account with the most spin in the account. So that way I can get a good idea of, hey, if they got the most spin, they're obviously we're working. You know, if you have an account that spent four and a half million dollars and one ad spent a million dollars on it, that ad was obviously working. But I don't wanna waste my time of looking at ads that spent 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 50 bucks when we spent four and a half million dollars. Okay, I wanna look at the ads that drove 80% of that revenue or that at least spent 80% of that spend. So that's what I'm doing next. And there's a few things I'm doing here, okay? Number one, I wanna look at what's the main desire that we're hitting on in the market. I wanna look at, hey, what level of market awareness we're appealing to? Are these people problem aware, solution aware, unaware? Like, where do we pick up the conversation in advertising to be able to effectively reach these types of people? Okay. The next thing I'm looking at is a little bit more of like, is there any like immediate beliefs or, or things I can just quickly point out in their creatives? Like, hey, I noticed you're leveraging literally no social proof in any of your ads. Or, hey, you don't show off the unique mechanism of your product in any of the ads itself. Like just little things that I can show, I can, you know, just quick wins essentially in the account right there. Okay. That's what I'm doing those creatives. Just quick little audit creative process. Nothing too, too in depth because usually these, these things are free, but just a level to pick up the quick wins because that's gonna be the things that we can immediately deploy in the account and really just get some quick wins for the client and make them more money for off the back, okay? That's usually what I'm doing right there, okay? That's gonna allow me to just kind of do a quick creative rundown, 
Um, and from there, I'll usually toss that into a slideshow. So now we have like three or four slides of, you know, A, use this ad account structure, B, use this attribution tools and stuff like that. C, here's how, here's what your creatives look like. Here's like a few that, you know, they've ran really well in your accounts. We recommend creating more like this. Here's some similarities. That's also another really good question. What are the similarities between those creatives? Because if you have five or six creatives and four of them are UGC and one of them is just a standalone shot and those four with the UGC performed amazing, well, you need to go out there and create some more UGC for those. You don't need to go hire a professional photographer or things like that to do more studio shots, okay? So that's the next thing, all right? So A, use this ad account structure. B, attribution tools. C, here's the creative rundown, kind of things we noticed really quick, boom, okay. Now, the next slide is I wanna do a, a kind of a competitor analysis. Now, I don't have all day to go in and research the whole market, like really in depth, as if like a client came on board, but I do have the time to be able to at least go look at a few competitor ad libraries, okay. Competitor ad libraries will give me the the 90, 90 second gist I need to know of that for that account because they've already done all the work to research the market. And I can kind of quickly see like based off how long things have been running of what's actually running and working inside of the account, okay? At this stage here, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing in terms of the, you know, like the, um, you know, the, the creative analysis in the ad account, but from a competitor perspective. Hey, all of your competitors are running UGC videos you're running none. All of your competitors are leveraging the pain or like the sleep problem, like your product, like everyone thinks that your product helps out with sleep. A lot of competitors are running that specific desire slash angle. So, you know, you should definitely test on the ad account. I'm looking for just more kind of quick wins across the competitors and stuff that they haven't leveraged in the ad account yet. And I'm getting, I'm documenting all of that right there, okay? So now it's like, hey, here's what you're doing. Here's some stuff we think you should be doing. So now they actually kind of have more of a plan and strategy in that aspect right there, okay? So that's like the fourth slide. And then the fifth slide is more of just kind of like focusing more around retention. Retention, and I'm also looking at kind of like AOV optimization and stuff like that. Um, so for example, Hey, we recommend you know, pushing this particular product with Facebook and then leveraging all your email and organic marketing and stuff like that to push these other products in your store. And that way it's going to help you with your, you know, in stream of, you know, new customers on a daily basis. And then you have like, you know, other ways to like monetize those customers. Here's some of the products we recommend, like you should try to deploy and things like that. Basically just things to fix the retention side on their business. Cause that's a big problem I'm running. It's a lot of consumers. Um, a lot of brands, they have terrible retention on that side right there, okay? So now they pretty much have a pretty well polished up plan together. It's nothing crazy. Like we literally use a Google slideshow and kind of go through everything like that. I've done audits where I would literally charge like a thousand dollars to literally go through their whole account and just pull a bunch of shit together and to be like, okay, here's what you should deploy. And honestly, it's so much that they don't do it at all. So I've been finding that our ad account audits is more simple of just Here's some things that we notice across your ad account. Here's some things we notice across the, the marketscape. And here's some things we recommend you should try. Here's a few things, you know, about your ad account. Like there's things like that, that's quick wins that they can either go and deploy or when they pay us, our team can deploy in that first week. That's going to get them wins and start making the money right off the back right there. We find that's been the biggest thing right there that when we do an ad account audit gives the biggest impact in actual performance and actually action like taking like people actually taking the fucking action, okay? Because if you do a really expensive audit and it's like people don't really follow that and if people don't follow it, then the audit was done for purely no read. Like there was just no point of even doing the audit if there's no action plan taken off of that, okay? Now, another thing when we're doing an audit as an agency or, I, you know, because that's what we do is I'm also looking at a few other things, okay? If I can't find any quick wins and I find that they're literally doing everything perfectly, all the comparisons are doing things perfectly, then I'm looking at, is the ad account the real problem here, okay? The ad account will tell me is, is it the ad account? Was there a problem or is it the business problem, okay? So give you an example right here. We, uh, we were working with a brand no longer work together with, and this particular brand made, had like same example that adds us all the competitors. Competitors were doing amazing. They just could not scale. Okay. We tried a lot of different creatives, things like that. 
yada, 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 okay? And their offer was a product that, you know, when you purchase once, think about like, you know, say a new energy drink came out, okay? You wanna go try this new energy drink. It's just one little can energy drink, okay? All of the competitors were selling single cans, made it super easy for them to just go buy this one can. Whereas if this new energy drink came out, you had to purchase a 12 pack, okay? Well, it's like, well, I don't even know if I like it enough to purchase a 12 pack. This is how this brand was set up. They had a, they had a bad positioning of their product, okay? And the reason why I was set up like that was because of their shipping rates and stuff like that, they couldn't get them lower. So due to that, they had a bad offer that no one wanted. So even the best, you know, ads and stuff like that couldn't fix the offer and it limited their ability to scale, okay? Whereas all the other brands that were advertising the same product was basically like, here's one can and you get free shipping. And, you know, at that point right there, it's like, it was a no brainer to purchase from the other brands, but us, hey, you get free shipping, but you have to purchase a 12 pack. It's like, well, I, ne I never even got to try your product yet. And you're making me try a 12 pack. So sometimes the ad account audit, if it's too perfect on the ad account side and they're still struggling as a business, there is a problem that more um, lies within the business itself. And that's where we, we look to find those specific problems, okay? Maybe an account is too reliant on Facebook ads and they haven't done anything to improve their retention. Like if, if a client comes to me and they're like a 90 to 100% new customer of daily revenue, it's definitely a problem not with the ad side, but the retention side. Because if they keep scaling their business on new customer revenue, they're gonna be at the grips of Facebook for a very long time. So the objective here is to build out the retention side. That's what's gonna fix their profitability problems within the business. So that's some other stuff we look at, okay? And then, hey, look, if all of that looks perfect too, then that's when I start, you know, more <laughs> looking at this account. It's like, hey, is the expectations of the partner you know, the potential partner in check, you know, Hey Nick, you know, we're doing everything perfect, but we're not hitting a six X for us. Okay. Well, first off, do you need to hit that? Then the ad account audit does not even need to be done because now it's just more of a factor of, of expectations. So we do a full ad account audit. We can't find a single thing. Then it's like, okay, what's the expectations of this particular partner? And is that the reason why? Okay. You know, they might be struggling because, hey, Nick, we're doing a 4X robust. Um, we're selling, I don't know, we're, you know, headsets, for example, like this. New and approved, best in the market, yada, yada, yada. We have an amazing retention side, everything like that. Cool. Why are you here? Well, because we're struggling to profit with Facebook ads. Okay. Well, what are you doing on Facebook? Oh, we're doing a 3X on Facebook. I'm like, okay. What you doing overall? 4X. I'm like, okay. I'm like, why are you struggling? Well, because we have like a 30% margin. Then it's like, oh, okay, so that's your problem. You need to go focus on renegotiating shipping rates, product costs, things like that to expand your, your, your margin there. Sometimes the problem isn't Facebook and that's where a lot of brand owners kind of, we, you know, really rub them wrong and, and I love it because it actually challenges them to build a bigger, better business. And when they do, they do substantially better than before. So that's some other things we like to look at. I've even gone as far as like, you know, an account audit does works well, everything like that. And then we sign the client on and like a month later, I'm ready to fire them because the client is just terrible to fucking deal with. There's another thing that, you know, that's not well talked about in this space is that some clients are just terrible. Like they're super, have super limiting beliefs, very negative to deal with. Uh, just, you know, turn out literally every single idea to actually grow the business. So at the end point, it's just like, well, we're just clearly here. Just, it's just going to be like, you know, working with a wall. So like we should just part ways now. So that's also another thing that I like to look at, um, in the ad account audit process is just how well does this person communicate with me? Okay. Because if they're communicating with logic and they're communicating me in a professional manner, they're respecting my boundaries and things like that. That's a, you know, good signs right there. Um, if they're being honest with me, I've had people before they get on these strategy calls and tell me like, yeah, Nick, we're doing 50 K hundred K a month. Cool. I hop in their ad account. They had maybe a hundred K a month once two years ago. And since then they've been doing five K 10 K every month. No, you're on five to 10 K a month. You're not doing a hundred thousand dollars a month. Okay. So I've had so many people lie to me about that. Um, and that's a big impact right there on like, you know, Hey, what, like I take all this into check when I bring on a partner. So that's why I'm very, very picky about the clients to take on because a good client relationship right there 
allows me to have a long-term relationship with them. And that's what I'm focused on. I don't like working with people for 30 days and then that's it. I like working with people for a couple of years that we both can make a lot of money together because we do do a profit share as well. After you cross over $50,000 a month in profit, uh, we take like 10%, that's it, some, something small. Cause that way we're both incentivized to keep growing the business for you where we get a chunk as well. If you know you don't do a profit share, that's like not incentivizing your team and your team's not incentivized to grow your business while well, you fuck off in Bali or something like that, then guess what? Your business won't grow. But if you incentivize your team properly and they're gonna to keep growing the business because they're gonna make more money as well, they're gonna keep growing the business for you whether you're in the business or not. And that's gonna be even more impactful right there for you. So yeah, I know I'm going on a tangent right now, but it's gonna give you guys a little bit, a lot of like kind of like my feedback and thoughts around the ad account process and like everything that goes into it. I know I probably have people on here that's on the fence who have worked with me that's kind of curious about that as well. I also have media buyers and just marketers that follow this channel that love all the content I put around everything I talk about. And I know I've also gotten this question a few times as well. So I hope this is able to share some thoughts and feedback to you guys and give you guys some actual tangible things you can actually deploy yourself. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Again, two links below. One, have Nick run your ads, get a free strategy session with me. We'll do this whole ad account process with you um, or have Nick mentor you where I can actually, you know, you know, basically over the shoulder work with you actually help you create better ads inside of your account. So thank you all so much for watching. My name is Nick Terrio. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.